This is MX Linux 23. It is one of my favorite Linux distros which just got updated. We're not just going to talk about XFC on bare metal, but also the other desktop environments like KDE and Fluxbox. And then most importantly, take a look into the all new kernel. All of these under 9 minutes. MX Linux 23 comes with three distinct desktop choices, KDE, XFC and Fluxbox. Among them, XFC takes the lead as the flagship as advertised by MX Linux, XFC is also known for being lightweight, providing smooth performance and a highly customizable interface. However, the real star of this show is the KDE version packed with impressive enhancements that push the boundaries of what Linux can do with the Plasma desktop. At the heart of MX Linux 23's KDE offering is Plasma 5.27, the final KDE release. This version represents the culmination of Plasma evolution, saying goodbye to the previous iteration of KDE 5 as we transition to Plasma 6. One standout feature is the clever Snappier interface, integrated with tiles. Imagine your screen is divided into predefined zones where windows snap neatly into place when you drag them while holding the shift key. To reveal this magic, simply press Meta plus D, that's the Windows key plus D, and discover the several tiling zones which you can customize to suit your workflow. But customization doesn't stop there, especially with KDE. If you don't want to design your own layout, you can always select one of the options too. If you feel it looks cluttered, you can change the padding of the tiles, introduce some space to make the interface look a lot cleaner. Plasma also has redesigned dark mode with subtle outlines in breeze that help separate apps from the background and hence bring in more depth. There's a new compact system settings design that masterfully maximizes information presentation within limited screen space. This clever optimization ensures that the essential information is readily available, eliminating unnecessary clutter and screens inside the system settings page. Small settings which had their own pages are now merged within a group. Just like launch animation here with cursor is now placed in the appearance slash cursor page. One of my favorite features of this Plasma release is the adaptive app layouts. The feature responds intelligently to the available screen space, ensuring that the app interfaces adjust seamlessly to different screen sizes. The result is an interface that echoes the fluidity of mobile application, a glimpse into a future where Linux phones could potentially thrive in the market. And the innovation doesn't stop there. MX Linux 23 with KDE has an array of additional features waiting to be explored. To delve even further into this captivating Plasma update, don't miss the opportunity to watch the comprehensive Plasma 5.27 review video linked above in the i button or in the description below. Amidst the array of desktop environments, Fluxbox emerges as a lightweight counterpart to XFCE. Its version 1.3.7 debut brings its own set of enhancements, promising a seamless and efficient user experience. Meanwhile, the standard XFC version stands proudly at 4.18, showcasing its proven reliability and familiarity with MX Linux ecosystem. Well, this is just a desktop environment update. Inside, there's a whole new rebase to Debian 12, which means there's a new kernel updated to 6.1 series, native Rust support, better memory handling under pressure, faster BTRFS performance, and a lot more. Bookworm also includes numerous updated software packages, over 67% of all packages from the previous release, which is a considerable chunk provided currently there are 70,081 packages available in AMD64 architecture. For more info related to kernel 6.1 and Debian 12 in a fun and interesting way with animations, do watch the video from the card above or the links in the description. There's a reason why MX continuously tops the chart. When you talk about MX Linux, it boils down to just and just raw performance, and the 23rd edition fails in no aspect to keep up the tag. Apps are snappy, opens fast, and in other terms, providing stellar performance in the flagship XFC desktop at the same time managing to look good. The change of wallpaper was very much required and it changes the overall look of MX in terms of aesthetics. The previous wallpaper looked quite noisy or in other terms busy. The new wallpaper looks more clean but at the same time gives some vista of Windows 7 vibes when designs like these were very popular. The flagship XFC looks good but you can make it look even better by running auto installed scripts with the click of a button loaded with custom picked themes. Check the link available in the description to access them at a discounted price of 50% off as we celebrate one year of successfully running Patreon, with few but loyal members. Starting today, you will also get additional access to raw project files which you can use to learn more about the making process of videos like this one. And also you get those premium wallpapers at 8k high-res.
Okay, just like having a top-notch car is only as effective as your driving skills, the performance of your system hinges on the quality of its software. The truth is evident when you examine the Geekpen 6 cores of an Intel i3 10 Gen CPU on my desktop, contrasting MX Linux with other operating systems like Windows or Ubuntu. The verdict is clear. MX Linux consistently outperforms its counterparts while maintaining an optimum level of RAM usage. MX also comes with MX tools, and these tools play a crucial role in enhancing user interface and functionality. Notably, the built-in NVIDIA driver support is a game-changer, taking the hassle out of driver detection and installation. This feature ensures the system seamlessly integrates with your hardware, elevating performance to new heights. The toolkit further extends with tools which include video codec installer, invaluable for tackling video playback issues. A boot repair tool comes to rescue should any mishap occur, providing a safety net for users venturing into advanced concepts. The system snapshots feature acts as a safeguard tool against unfortunate incidents, while the remastering tool empowers users to personalize their operating system by incorporating changes directly into the ISO. The live USB kernel updater and live USB maker adds a layer of convenience, facilitating the creation of bootable USB drives and the latest kernel and system images. These tools showcase MX Linux's commitment to streamlining process for a smoother user experience. When it comes to software availability, MX Linux adopts a mindful approach by omitting pre-installed flatpack or Snap packages, MX Linux retains a focus on optimized package management through apt. This might be a strategic choice of MX Linux, which not only saves valuable space but also ensures that users benefit from the most finely tuned versions of software packages. The efficiency and resource-conscious nature of apt sets MX Linux apart, especially evident when comparing space consumption between apt and flatpak packages. While MX Linux is grounded in Debian Stable, it ingeniously addresses the challenge of outdated software versions. The MX Package Installer presents an elegant solution, offering a graphical user interface that connects users to next-gen software repositories. This dynamic approach brings the latest and greatest software offerings to users while maintaining the stability of the Debian base. Adding an extra layer of reassurance, MX Linux 23 introduces an all-new firewall that comes pre-installed and enabled, aptly named the Uncomplicated Firewall. This essential feature brings basic firewall protection to your system, enhancing your overall security and peace of mind. While Linux has a lower market share and therefore is more resilient against malware, the question of true safety remains. To delve deeper into this topic, consider exploring a video on the rise of Linux malwares, shedding light on potential vulnerabilities and safeguards. Alternatively, a dive into Linux security in general can equip you with broader understanding of best practices to ensure a secure online experience. Ultimately, embracing web security is paramount, steering clear of suspicious activities and adhering to prudent online behavior serves as a powerful shield against potential threats. As you navigate the digital landscape, remember that proactive measures are key to maintaining a secure and enjoyable online presence. Stay cautious, stay informed and safeguard your digital world. And don't do sketchy stuff. Okay, so that's all for this video. Do like, share and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram, X or even threads. Check out my other channel. Links are available in the description. Check out my other channel for more tech content, not just related to Linux, but a variety of other tech related topics, which are obviously shown in very interesting manner. So that's all. I'll catch you in the next one.